ever wondered why sometimes your decisions seem clouded or why your thoughts lead you astray? In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to get swept away by the current of emotions, losing sight of our true north. This is where the ancient philosophy of Stoicism comes into play, a guiding light that illuminates the path of clear thinking. Welcome to Reflective Rise, your window to timeless wisdom. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for all future wisdom bits. Now let's dive in. Personally, I've had my fair share of muddled thoughts and impulsive decisions, and it was Stoicism that served as my compass, navigating me back to rationality. This philosophy, rooted in rationality and clear thinking, is not a relic of the past, but a tool for the present, a life raft in the stormy sea of emotions that often threaten to capsize our decision-making. Today, we'll explore the stoic principles of rationality, objectivity, logical preparation for adversity, present focus, logical compassion, simplicity, self-reflection, embracing change logically, and pursuing wisdom. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the power of rationality and how it shapes our thoughts and decisions. Stoicism teaches us to prioritize reason over emotion, a route to balanced and effective decision-making. At the heart of Stoicism, rationality is perceived as the key to virtue and clear thinking. The Stoics held the view that our rational faculties are what distinguish us from other creatures, and honing this ability leads us to live in harmony with nature and ourselves. In the Stoic view, the world is irrational, filled with uncertainties and inconsistencies. But we, as rational beings, have the power to bring order to our corner of the universe through clear, logical thinking. It's not about suppressing emotions, but rather understanding them, questioning them, and ultimately guiding them with reason. This is achieved by focusing on what is within our control and accepting what is not. Imagine life as a game of archery. The stoic aim is to shoot the arrow as accurately as possible, which is within our control. However, whether the arrow hits the target is influenced by external factors like wind and distance, which are beyond our control. The rational Stoic then finds fulfillment in the act of aiming well, not necessarily hitting the target. This Stoic model of control, distinguishing between what we can and cannot control, allows us to invest our energy wisely. It promotes a healthier mental state, minimizes frustration, and enhances our decision-making. It's about directing our rational mind to what truly matters and letting go of the rest. In essence, rationality and Stoicism is not simply about cold, hard logic. It's about using our ability to reason to navigate life's complexities, to find serenity amidst chaos, and to make decisions that align with our highest values. It's about embracing the power of the mind to shape our reality, rather than being a passive victim to external circumstances. So the first step in clear thinking is understanding the power of rationality. It's about acknowledging our potential for reason and using it as a compass to steer us through life's tumultuous seas. It's about realizing that we are indeed the captains of our minds. Objective thinking is key in Stoicism, but how do we develop this viewpoint? Well, let's start with understanding what objective thinking means. It's the ability to perceive reality as it is, without being swayed by personal biases, emotions or assumptions. Objective thinking is like looking at a painting from a distance. You see the whole picture, not just a single brushstroke. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of this viewpoint. It allows us to make decisions based on facts and rationality, rather than getting carried away by our emotions or preconceptions. It's like being the calm eye of the storm, unswayed by the chaos around us. Now, how do we cultivate this objectivity? First, we need to consciously practice detaching ourselves from our immediate reactions. When faced with a situation, instead of jumping to conclusions based on our emotions or biases, we should take a step back. We should ask ourselves, what are the facts here? Am I letting my emotions color my perception? Next, we can practice empathy. Empathy allows us to understand others' perspectives, which broadens our own viewpoint. It's like changing the angle of our lens to get a more comprehensive view of the situation. Finally, we should embrace curiosity and question our assumptions. Just as a scientist doesn't accept a theory without testing it, we shouldn't accept our beliefs without questioning them. 
We should constantly challenge our perspectives to ensure they are based on reality, not assumptions. Let's imagine a scenario. You're stuck in traffic late for an important meeting. Your immediate reaction is frustration. But if you step back and try to think objectively, you might realize that getting angry won't change the situation. Instead, you can use this time to prepare for your meeting or simply enjoy some music. Your day suddenly becomes a little brighter. Remember, objectivity is a skill that takes practice, but it's worth it. As you develop this viewpoint, you'll find that your decisions become more rational, your relationships improve, and your mind becomes a tranquil haven, undisturbed by the storms of life. Stoics prepare for adversity logically. Let's explore how. One of the key practices in Stoicism is premeditatio malorum, a Latin term which means the premeditation of evils. It's a mental exercise that involves anticipating challenges, difficulties or misfortunes that might occur in the future. This may sound a bit pessimistic, but it's not about dwelling on the negative. Instead, it's a proactive approach to prepare ourselves for potential adversity. Imagine you're planning a picnic. You'd naturally hope for a sunny day, but what if it rains? Stoics would advise you to anticipate this possibility and prepare for it perhaps by choosing a picnic spot with a nearby shelter or packing a waterproof picnic blanket. By doing so, if the rain does come, you'll be ready for it and it won't ruin your day. This practice of anticipating challenges helps us develop a logical mindset. It encourages us to think through potential scenarios and plan our responses rather than being caught off guard and reacting emotionally. It's like a form of mental rehearsal, preparing us to handle situations with calmness and clarity. Many Stoics have effectively used this practice. One famous example is Seneca, a Stoic philosopher from ancient Rome. He often wrote about the importance of premeditatio malorum, he advised people to anticipate everything that could possibly go wrong, not to induce fear, but to eliminate it. By considering the worst case scenarios, we can mentally prepare ourselves to face them, reducing anxiety and fear. And it's not just ancient Stoics. Many successful people today use this strategy from athletes visualizing their performance to business leaders anticipating market changes. They understand that by preparing for adversity logically, they can navigate through challenges with a clear mind. So next time you're facing a decision or planning for the future, try to anticipate the potential challenges. Think about what could go wrong and how you would handle it. This practice will help you develop a logical mindset enabling you to face adversity with calmness and clarity. Anticipating challenges logically can help us navigate through them with a clear mind. Mindfulness, a stoic practice, can aid in maintaining clear and logical thought. Now what do we mean by mindfulness? In the context of stoicism, it's about being fully aware and present in the moment rather than letting your mind drift to the past or future. This sense of presence allows you to see things as they truly are, without the distortions of bias or emotional reaction. Imagine standing in the eye of a storm. All around you, the winds of life are blowing, swirling with the debris of daily distractions, emotional upheavals and future anxieties. But in the eye where you stand, it's calm. You see the storm for what it is, without becoming part of it. That's what mindfulness in Stoicism is like. But how can we cultivate this state of mindfulness? Well, the Stoics suggested a few exercises that can be quite helpful. One such exercise is what we call the view from above. This involves imagining yourself rising above your current situation, looking down at it from a great height. From this elevated perspective, your problems may seem smaller, less overwhelming. You see them as part of a larger tapestry, not as the entire picture. Another exercise is the dichotomy of control where you take a moment to distinguish between what is within your control and what is not. This helps to focus your energy and attention on things you can actually influence rather than wasting it on what you cannot change. And lastly, there is the practice of presence, where you consciously bring your attention to the present moment, to the task at hand. This could be as simple as focusing on your breath or the sensation of the wind against your skin, it's about fully experiencing the here and now without judgment or distraction. 
These exercises are not about escaping reality, but rather engaging with it more fully, more rationally. They help to clear the fog of emotional reactions, allowing you to see things as they are, to think clearly and logically. So remember, stay present, stay focused, and watch how your thinking becomes clearer. The power of logical clarity is within your grasp, right here, right now. Balancing personal decision-making with the welfare of the community is a stoic virtue. This principle is known as logical compassion, a core concept that guides Stoics in their thought processes and decision-making. Logical compassion is not about ignoring our personal needs or desires, rather it's about considering the broader implications of our decisions and aligning our actions with the common good. It's a way of thinking that combines rationality with empathy, creating a balance that leads to more positive outcomes for both the individual and the community. In the realm of Stoic philosophy, compassion isn't a fleeting emotion. It's a rational and deliberate course of action. It's about making decisions that are not only logical, but also considerate of the welfare of others. It's about understanding the interconnectedness of our actions and the ripple effects they can have on the world around us. Let's break down a decision-making scenario to better illustrate this concept. Imagine you're faced with a choice to either work overtime on a project or attend a family gathering. Both options have their merits, but how do you choose? You could prioritize your personal needs and opt for the overtime, possibly earning a promotion or a bonus. But what about the potential strain on your relationships or the missed opportunity to connect with loved ones? On the other hand, you could choose the family gathering, nurturing your relationships and contributing to a sense of community. But what about the potential missed opportunity at work? A Stoic practicing logical compassion would consider both options, weigh the potential outcomes, and make a decision that best aligns with their values and the welfare of the community. This might mean finding a compromise, or it could mean making a tough choice. Remember, Stoic philosophy doesn't dictate what the right choice is. It simply provides a framework to think more clearly and make decisions with both logic and compassion. Logical compassion leads to clearer thinking and better outcomes. It's not just about what's best for you, but what's best for the community as a whole. And it's this balance, this blend of reason and empathy that truly embodies Stoic wisdom. Simplifying desires can reduce internal conflict, another Stoic principle. This is a concept that seems counterintuitive in our modern world, where ambition and desire are often seen as the driving forces of success. But the Stoics believed that by simplifying our wants, we can achieve a state of tranquility and clear thought. Imagine your desires as a bustling crowd, each clamoring for your attention. It's noisy, chaotic, and it's hard to focus on anything else. Now picture that crowd thinning out until there's only a handful of desires left. Suddenly, the noise subsides. You can think clearly, make decisions without being swayed by unnecessary wants and distractions. The Stoics weren't advocating for a life devoid of desire. Rather, they encouraged us to desire wisely, to focus on what truly matters, what enriches our lives and contributes to our personal growth and the well-being of others. They believed that many of the things we crave, wealth, fame, power, are not only outside of our control, but they also don't contribute to our ultimate happiness or virtue. So how do we simplify our desires in practice? One way is through what I like to call a desire diet. Just as we might cut out unhealthy foods from our diet to improve our physical health, we can also trim down our desires to improve our mental clarity. Start by identifying your desires. Write them down, all of them, big or small, then consider each one. Is it within your control? Does it contribute to your virtue, your personal growth, your happiness? Is it necessary or is it just noise? Gradually, you'll find yourself letting go of extraneous wants, focusing on what truly matters. Remember, this isn't about deprivation. It's about clarity. It's about freeing up mental space so you can think clearly, make wise decisions, and ultimately live a more fulfilling life. Simplify your wants and watch your thoughts become clearer. This is the essence of Stoic simplicity. By reducing the noise of unnecessary desires, we can achieve greater clarity of thought and a deeper sense of tranquility. Self-examination in Stoicism helps eliminate biases and improve logic. 
This simple but profound idea is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. Self-reflection, also known as introspection, is a process of looking inward, examining our thoughts, feelings and actions, and understanding how they shape our reality. It's like holding up a mirror to our minds, seeing the reflections of our thoughts, and understanding their origins and implications. In the context of Stoicism, self-reflection is not just a casual, fleeting thought. It's a disciplined practice, a continuous effort to scrutinize our internal processes. It's about identifying and challenging our biases, our preconceived notions, our irrational fears and our unjustified desires. It's about understanding the source of our emotions, our reactions to external events and our perceptions of the world around us. Stoic self-reflection is a powerful tool for clear thinking. It helps us understand the difference between our impressions of the world and the world as it truly is. It helps us distinguish between what's in our control and what's not. It helps us identify and correct our irrational thoughts, leading to more rational and effective decision-making. It helps us become more objective, more rational, more virtuous and ultimately more serene. Now, let's try a simple self-reflective exercise. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Think about a recent decision you made, preferably one that had a significant impact on your life. Reflect on your thought process leading up to that decision. What were the emotions involved? What were the biases, if any, that influenced your decision? What were the external factors you considered? What was in your control and what was not? Reflect on these questions honestly and objectively this exercise is not about regretting your decision or wishing you had done things differently. It's about understanding your thought process, identifying your biases and irrational thoughts and learning from them. It's about improving your decision-making process, enhancing your logical thinking and ultimately living a more virtuous and serene life. Remember, self-reflection is not a one-time activity. It's a lifelong practice, a journey of continuous learning and improvement. Self-reflection is the mirror to your thoughts. Use it wisely. Scene script. Change is a logical part of life. Let's learn to adapt our thinking accordingly. Stoic philosophy teaches us that change is the only constant in life. It is as natural as the changing seasons, the ebb and flow of tides, and the waxing and waning of the moon. As humans, we are part of this natural cycle of change. Understanding this universal truth can help us maintain our mental clarity amid the flux and uncertainty that life often brings. Change can be challenging. It can disrupt our plans, throw us off balance and bring uncertainty. But instead of resisting it, we can choose to see change as an opportunity for growth, for learning and for the development of our character. The Stoics believe that our response to change is entirely within our control. And this is where our power lies. The key to embracing change lies in our ability to adapt. Adaptability is the skill that allows us to adjust our thoughts and actions in response to new situations and circumstances. It involves being flexible, open-minded and willing to learn from the experiences that life brings our way. How do we cultivate adaptability? The first step is to accept that change is inevitable. Once we accept this, we can start to view change not as a threat, but as a fact of life. We can then focus our energy on adapting and growing, rather than resisting and fearing change. Next, we can strive to keep our minds clear and focused amid change. This involves practicing mindfulness, staying grounded in the present moment, and not getting carried away by fears or worries about the future. It also involves developing our problem-solving skills and learning to think critically and logically about the situations we face. Finally, we can learn to view change from a stoic perspective. This means seeing change as a natural and necessary part of life and understanding that our response to change is within our control. It involves recognizing that change can bring both challenges and opportunities and that our ability to adapt and grow can turn these challenges into stepping stones towards greater wisdom and resilience. Remember, change is not something to be feared or resisted, but rather something to be accepted and embraced. Embrace change logically and maintain clarity of thought. 
Wisdom in Stoicism is the knowledge of what should and shouldn't be desired. This is the heart of Stoicism, the very essence of the philosophy. It's all about understanding what truly matters in life and what doesn't. It's about recognizing that the pursuit of wisdom is not just about accumulating knowledge, but about developing a deeper understanding of ourselves and of the world around us. To the Stoics, wisdom was considered the highest virtue. It is the guiding principle that leads to clear thinking. But how does one pursue wisdom? It starts with curiosity, with asking questions, and with a willingness to challenge our own assumptions. It requires humility, the recognition that we don't have all the answers, and the courage to change our minds when we're wrong. A key part of pursuing wisdom is learning to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. This simple yet profound insight can free us from a lot of unnecessary stress and anxiety. It allows us to focus our energy on the things we can actually influence, leading to more effective decision-making and clearer thinking. Another way to pursue wisdom is through self-reflection. Taking the time to examine our own beliefs and biases can help us see things more objectively. It can reveal blind spots in our thinking and open our minds to new perspectives. Finally, pursuing wisdom involves embracing a life of simplicity. The Stoics believed that by reducing our desires and focusing on what's truly important, we can achieve a greater sense of peace and clarity. So how can we integrate the pursuit of wisdom into our daily life? Start by setting aside some time each day for reflection and learning. Read widely, engage in thoughtful conversations, and challenge your own assumptions. Remember, the journey to wisdom is not a destination, but a continuous process of growth and discovery. In the words of the ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. So let's keep learning, let's keep questioning, let's keep growing. Pursue wisdom and clear thinking will follow. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We started by discussing the power of rationality in Stoicism and how it paves the way to virtue and clear thinking. We then delved into the importance of practicing objectivity and preparing for adversity with logic. The concept of present focus was introduced, highlighting its role in maintaining clear and logical thought. We also explored how Stoics balance the welfare of the community with personal decision-making, leading us to the idea of logical compassion. The role of desire and simplicity in facilitating clear thought was discussed, followed by the importance of self-reflection and embracing change logically. Lastly, we touched upon the pursuit of wisdom, a key tenet of Stoic philosophy and its impact on clearer thinking. The journey to logical clarity may be challenging, but remember, every step you take is a step towards wisdom. Remember, Stoicism offers a path to clear thinking. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more insights.